Hey, 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 everybody. It is day six of the love day. And this is a year of devotion for couples. And I am doing this um, by myself. It's the year 2021. So I am working on me and I am working on becoming a better wife. My husband and I have been married for 20 years. So we are on our 21st year of marriage. And it has been an amazing 20 years. So I am looking forward to the next 20 years plus more in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So um, again, this book is by um, Stephen Kimbrough. I mean, Stephen Kendrick and Alex Kendrick and Lawrence Kimbrough. All right. And it is based on the movie Fireproof. So if you've never seen that movie, go um, see it. They also um, are the producers of the movie War, War Room. Okay. So day six. <clears throat> Love is your job description. Oh, I like the title of this. <laughs> All right. So the scripture is coming from 1 John 3 and verse 11. And it says, this is the message you have heard from the beginning. We should love one another. All right. So now I'm going to read the devotion and it is as follows. People from every nation, tribe, and tongue have it in common. Everyone is longing to be loved. It's inbred, God-given, lifelong, and deeply felt. Would someone please love me? Is the unspoken cry from billboards, television shows, magazines, and t-shirts. We work constantly to get others to notice our worth and validate us with their intention. We will even give ourselves to someone with hopes of receiving love in return. But ironically, people rarely take their focus off of themselves so that they can meet the needs in others. Selfishly, we may even overlook our own spouse. But he or she need, but he or she needs is just the same. But he or she needs is just the same. Okay, maybe that's just a typo, but that's what it says. <laughs> I guess, but um, he or she needs. Oh, so maybe it's saying male needs and female needs are just the same. I'm not sure what that part means. I'm, I'm not sure if that's a typo, but anyway. Love, however, is your primary responsibility in marriage. Now that is key. It said love is your primary responsibility in marriage. Did you not know to a lifelong love? I'm sorry. Did you not? Sorry, not know. Did you not vow to a lifelong love at the altar? Are you not the one God has privileged to fill your mate's love tank? Oh, I like that. Yeah, I want to fill that love tank to the overflow. <laughs> and remember this, when your spouse deserves your love the least. Wow. Remember that, that that's your job to fill that love tank, even when they don't deserve it. Huh. That is when they need it the most. So when they don't deserve it is when they need your, is when they need your love the most. Wow. No one on earth is more strategic, strategically positioned, commanded, and called on to love your mate than you are. And I can see that, especially if the Bible says that when the two become, they become one. All right. So the prayer for today, it says, Lord, I thank you for the spouse that you have given me. Teach me to love them in in a way that meets their needs and honors you. In Jesus' name, amen. I'll read that one more time. So this, the prayer is, Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you for our spouse, the spouse that you have given me. Teach me how to love them in a way that meets their needs and honors you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, y'all, that's it for day six. Remember, love 
is your job description. That is what I'm telling myself. And not only am I doing this for as my relationship with my husband, but this is trickling down even to how I interact with my children. I want to be a better wife. I want to be a better mom. And I definitely want to display love in everything that I do so that God will get the glory. All right, y'all. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.